today's topic is the Eagle Manager Incentive. You know, Eagle Manager is the most prestigious recognition given to FBOs in Forever Living. It's, uh, I can tell you from personal experience that it's one thing to develop a group that does 60 CCs for two months to achieve the manager level, but it's quite another to sustain that 60 case credits volume after becoming manager. Eagle manager status is earned by FBOs who prove that they have the commitment, the focus, and discipline necessary to build such a group who lead by example through personal sales recruiting and training and who help downline FBOs reach their potential through hands-on training and participation in essential business building activities. Achieving Eagle is no easy task, believe me. It requires a lot of effort to sponsor and develop new people while at the same time motivating and helping an existing FBO base. But the effort is well worth it. Not only do Eagles enjoy an income nearly double the ordinary manager and participate in the coveted Eagle Manager treat at some exotic global destination, but they also have the increased credibility necessary to improve their ability to sponsor and train their new downlines. Eagle Manager status is earned and renewed each year by meeting the requirements after becoming a recognized manager. Remember, all of these requirements have to kick in or have to begin after you achieve recognized manager. And of course, during the qualification period of May through April. First, every month you must be four case credit active with personal and Nova sales and be leadership bonus qualified with the eight, uh, the 12, the eight or the four case credits of personal retail and non-manager sales, depending upon how many manager lines you have. Sometimes, the question is asked if you if you still need to be leadership bonus qualified even if you don't have any downline managers from which to receive leadership bonus. The answer is yes. You must qualify each month regardless of whether you receive the bonus or not. Second, you must personally and uh, sponsor and develop at least two new supervisor lines. These supervisors can be anywhere on the globe. We call them global supervisors. So if, if you sponsor somebody living in a different country, they make supervisor during that uh, incentive period, then you uh, can count them towards your two supervisors. Next, third, you have to uh, generate at least uh, sales equaling at least 720 total case credits including at least 100 new case credits from FBOs you sponsored after you qualified as manager. All of these case credits must be generated by sales in your home country, except the new case credits. A maximum of 100 new case credits from sales outside your home country can be counted. For example, let's suppose that between May and April, you generate a total of 600 and 20 case credits from sales in your home country and 100 new case credits from sales in foreign countries. In this case, you would fulfill the case credit requirements of the incentive and you would qualify for Eagle status. Now let's suppose that you generate six, only 600 case credits from sales in your home country and 120 new case credits from sales in foreign countries. In this case, you would not qualify because you can only count a maximum of 100 new case credits from sales outside of your home country. The 600 CC plus the 100 maximum foreign new CC brings you to 700, which is 20 CC short of the total case credit requirement. Now I will add here that you have no limit to the number of new case credits in your home country. You can have three or 400 and they all count as long as they're in your home country. The only time you're limited to the number of new case credits is when they are generated in foreign countries. This incentive also provides a fantastic opportunity for senior managers and above to not only dramatically increase their income, but also qualify as Eagles themselves by working with their downline FBOs to help them reach Eagle. Seniors and above can qualify as Eagle by personally fulfilling the requirements we mentioned earlier, and in addition, by helping the required number of downline FBOs achieve Eagle, as indicated in this chart. 
Each of the downline eagles must be in a separate sponsorship line. It does not have to be first generation, and they do not have to be in your home country. They can be in any, uh, anywhere else in the world. The eagle manager requirements are based on the FBO's manager status at the beginning of the qualification period. For example, if you started the qualification period as a manager, and then moved to senior manager before the end of the period, your EGLE requirements would be based on the manager and not the senior manager status. So whatever you begin as, that's what you're, we use to judge your qualification for the remainder of the year, no matter if you move up to uh, uh, more recognition levels such as uh, senior, soaring, sapphire, and so forth. Upon completion of all the requirements, an to achieve the Eagle, uh, FBOs are awarded an exclusive gold recognition pin and they're invited to attend the next Eagle Manager Retreat. This will include airfare for two and three nights lodging, an invitation to the exclusive Eagle Manager training, and access to all events relating to the Eagle Manager Retreat. 